hello everyone welcome to this video we are installing our ethical hacking virtual lab earlier in the video you saw how we downloaded the attacker virtual machine parrot security operating system and then we downloaded some vulnerable systems like metasploitable 2 and we are we also downloaded the evaluation version of windows server 2019 and we will actually do some setup to make it vulnerable later on and in this video we will continue downloading uh, another virtual uh, vulnerable operating system uh, it will be two actually one is windows and one will be linux and it is called metasploitable 2 uh, sorry not metasploitable 2 uh, it's metas metasploitable 3 and after we successfully set up or download download and set up uh, it will appear here so for now i will close virtual box and later we will open after the installation is complete and in between uh, the video can be uh, long so in between i will pause the video to make it shorter so first we will be needing packer version 1.50 that you can uh, simply type in google and you will be presented with uh, this uh, website where you have different versions of packer then uh, when you click it will open uh, this link actually so we want packer 1.5.0 so you have to click on 1.5.0 and we want it for windows i am downloading or demonstrating it in windows machine so uh, this is the one we want to download it is uh, packer 1.5.0 windows amd 64 zip so when you click it will start downloading in uh, after it completes uh, we have to do the next step so now i have actually downloaded this version as you can see here in my downloads you can see a uh, packer 1.5.0 it's already downloaded and now we have to actually move it uh, to location so we will copy this and we will go to program files or that will open this PC we'll go to C drive program files and here we will create a folder called packer we we'll create a new folder we'll name it as packer and in this packer folder we will paste the packer 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 1.0 1.5.0 here and we will extract it here yes so extraction is complete now we can uh, delete this zip file so now we have to set uh, environment variable for that uh, we will again go to Uh, this PC or not here I yeah, will go to this PC then we will right click and here you can see uh, sorry right click and then we'll go to uh, properties advanced system settings here you can see environment variables uh, we have to copy this part also uh, where it is let me go to again C drive and then program files and then backer folder 
yeah we need to copy this part and go to environment variables and here we'll click on part this is the part and then we'll click on edit and then here we will click new under new we will just copy and paste so this is our part now we'll click on ok and we'll click on ok again and here we'll click on ok so the part for packer is set in environment variable now we'll type shift and then right click we can open uh, linux shell here in this part uh, sorry not linux shell uh, we need actually cmd we have opened uh, in the ad, uh, address bar uh, we type cmd.exe and it will open a command prompt in this part if i do dir you can see our this packer.exe is present here so this is the file packer.exe so i will just simply type packer press enter and you can see uh, we have successfully installed packer and it should work outside this also so if we simply because we have set in environment variables so it doesn't uh, let's check if it does i mean so yeah simply if we type packer from a command prompt so it should work because we have set in the environment variable in the earlier step so we are good to go let's proceed with the next steps So now we will go to D drive because I have space here and uh, here uh, you can use your C drive also but if you have another drive like D drive, E drive, F drive and there you have some space you can use that. I have only two drives and I'm using other than C, D drive. In D drive I have created a folder called Metasportable 3. It's empty folder. Now. In this folder actually we will uh, do the setup for vagrant file later on so i'll just minimize it for now and then next step is to install vagrant so here uh, we have to search in google for vagrant and uh, look at this part you can see uh, vagrant or windows we want and then we want the version to point so it will be uh, uh, the latest version uh, but we don't want to uh, install the latest version because uh, the compatible version is 2.1.5 again you can search for Vagrant in Windows, uh, I mean in Google, and then you can visit this website Vagrant app. In Vagrant app, if you click on downloads, you'll find this. Oh, where it is gone? Okay, let me show you here. Yeah, so after this step, uh, we went to downloads and then we found this and uh, then we have to select windows because we are downloading the vagrant version 2.1.5 for windows so we'll click on windows then click on the version here we'll search for 2.1.5 so here 0.1.5 it's selected now we can download uh, this one x8664 bit so we'll click on download and it will download it's a m m dot uh, msi file 
so i have already downloaded actually i'll show you so this is the vagrant 2.1 msi then we can actually go and then double click and it will start installation and unlike any other vagrant uh, and any other installation like you can just like a exe file you can uh, click on next 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 and then uh, it will be just uh, select the default and uh, you will be successfully installing vagrant version just like this next and again next but i have already downloaded actually uh, installed it so it's showing repair so i won't download it but for you it will be like next 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 and after it got uh, gets installed in your pc in your windows and you have to restart after you restart it will be done so this is the process so i'm not going to show you here uh, you have to uh, install it okay so after installation is done and you have vagrant uh, you can confirm it by going to c drive and you will see this folder or directory called hashi corp you just go to hashi corp and then you will find this uh, vagrant that is installed and this is the file in the bin vagrant.exe okay And now we will create the file for that uh, we have to search for a vagrant box vagrant boxes and you will find this link vagrant boxes you have to right click open it and here you have to search for uh, so this step is done we are done i will close this for tidiness and <clears throat> here we will search for meta exploitable and press enter and you will find uh, these two actually so we are going to install windows uh, server 2008 or meta exploitable meta exploitable which is already vulnerable and then we will download ubuntu also for that we will actually uh, do it in the next video but in this video we will start with uh, because it's a long process we will start with meta exploitable uh, 3 windows 2008 windows server 2008 version so here we have a uh, vagrant file we have to copy this we'll copy this and we have to go to uh, that remember we created one uh, in D drive meta exploitable free directory so here we will right click and create a new text document uh, text file here we will name the text file as vagrant file capital V A G R A N T F I L E vagrant file this is the name of the file we'll open this file double click and we'll paste it here that we copied earlier and we will save this and then we will close so the name of the file should be exactly same as you can see here uh, vagrant file capital V and then all lowercase or small letters uh, vagrant file and we have copied this now to that file after this uh, we have to actually rename and make it only vagrant file instead of text file so we will uh, double click highlight this or you can also just highlight and then right click in your mouse and then uh, rename so it's re highlighted you can just click on the portion where it says dot txt and we will remove this dot txt and then we have to click outside when we click outside uh, it will ask then we will say yes and now it is changed to vagrant file so this step is done again now we are going to uh, start uh, the next step where we have to press shift in our keyboard and then right click when we press shift in our keyboard and right click we will see this 
and we want to open a PowerShell window here. So we'll click on this open PowerShell window here. So now we want to actually install a plugin, Vagrant plugin. So for that, uh, we will type the command Vagrant Vagrant plugin install Vagrant hyphen reload so this is the name of the plugin that is uh, required actually uh, to install successfully metasploitable tree so we are downloading the windows server 2008 now that is vulnerable uh, as part of the ethical hacking vulnerable lab setup so the plugin name is uh, vagrant plugin install vagrant reload then we will press enter so everything if everything is fine so far the installation and all and the compatible version then uh, it will take some time we should have patience and then uh, it will so i will just uh, and check this public network such as it is asking actually uh, to uh, add rules uh, in the firewall so i'll just use uh, private networks such as home pc so this one i will uncheck and then allow access and then it will take some time again now installation of uh, the plugin vagrant reload plugin is uh, going on and this will take a few minutes so we have to uh, wait and after this process uh, we have another step and then we should uh, if everything went well uh, then we will be uh, successfully seeing uh, the metasploitable tree windows machine in our virtual box so this step is going on so i'll just pause the video now and then continue later great so we have successfully installed vagrant plugin as you can see it takes some time i paused the video in between i paused it actually so now again i will pause the video after this step so now we are going to type the command vagrant up and then press enter and this is going to finish now So I will just allow access for home network. You can see Metas Portable, uh, it's running. That is our Windows Server 2008. If you show this machine, you can see uh, that the screen sh saver actually. We will go to input keyboard, then insert control alt delete. And then you can see uh, the login information administrator and vagrant so we will be uh, selecting the vagrant username and the password is vagrant v a c r a n t and then login so if you can log in so congratulations and uh, we can uh, start with the next operating system in installation which is ubuntu or metasploitable 3 and then we will uh, install some more operating systems uh, that are vulnerable for our ethical hacking virtual testbed